Hi everyone, um, welcome. We did some major home improvements. Right now it's about almost one in the morning on July 4th. Well, now it's July 5th, but on Sunday, July 4th, which was yesterday, although we haven't slept yet, um, instead of enjoying our time at the fireworks, um, Freddie and I decided to do some home improvements. Um, we used to have, there will be some photo images later along with this clip about the before image before we did our Zen master bedroom. The previous clips that we had before was the second bedroom that was um, painted kind of like a burgundy red color and with the dragon and everything and all that nice burgundy red theme color with the white to contrast with the bed covers and pillows and stuff. So now this is the, we're, we moved to the bigger bedroom, the master bedroom, okay? And now the other room, the red room is a workout room, which Freddie could probably videotape later on to show you the, um, a second room that could be made into a workout room. So now for the master, bed, master bedroom, Freddie and I finally got to lay down and relax. And before it used to be like a lime green color walls, but then I decided that we're, I, I told Freddie that I wanted to move out to a bigger home because we didn't have enough closet space. And so this video is to tell you about what you can do with the current home that you're living in. You may think getting something else bigger and more closet is better, but sometimes moving can sound easy, but it's a lot of work and it costs a lot of money to get to move into a bigger home. So what we did was we worked on what we had, and I told Freddie, I'm going to go to uh, the fabric store and get some curtain fabrics that I will design from scratch. And so I did it, and now we will be doing a tour of that as of now. Okay, now this is the part two of the part. Now, there's Freddie laying there. So this is our after result um, of our bedroom, the master bedroom. We had symmetrical lamps. We're trying to get like a zen look. We have our mirrors up to make the room look bigger and stuff. So here we go, our symmetrical, you know, even to balance out the room. And there we centered the picture frame. It was really cool. We got this at the mall and it was really nice. It's like two golden dragons in like a golden metallic type of um, threading. So it's really nice facing each other. And we got that at the Lincolnwood Mall. It was like $75. $75 total with tax around there. So there's the mirror. And then um, right here used to be a bookshelf. And it was so ugly. I mean, I mean, books are books, you know. So I would just, Fred didn't want to get rid of it. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I'll just cover it up with some fabric. Sure. I taped it. I kind of use like double tape to tape it up without using glue and stuff. Okay, this is how it really looks. Like just gunk, typing paper, books, a disaster. So cover it up. <laughs> That's the only way you'll get the zen look. It's just to... You know, cover it up with a nice fabric, and I'll show you an up close version of the fabric. And you know, there's our fan or heater. Um, I will redo the window molding and repaint it white. And we kept the ceiling white to give it a more of a brighter color in the room. Because if you paint your ceiling a darker color, this room would be really, really dark. We need the light, and we have um, our lighting is like a like a triple bulb. I don't know if you can see it in here, but like a triple lighting that comes down, and it's a dimmer that Freddie had installed. So there's our. We kept the white molding to balance to give it nice contrast against the blue. So footboards are all white. Those will be redone. Now here is the magical. And if you don't have enough closet space, if you would like closet space, instead of creating or have hiring someone to install drywall, I came up with an, a creative idea where it cost it cost me like some money, some money, but not as bad as hiring somebody to do the labor and the to get the materials, which would cost you like a couple thousand dollars. So it cost me $233. Illinois, we have high tax. My tax was about 20 bucks. So the total I paid for the curtain rods, it's a three set. It's about five feet each. So as you can see, I will spread it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. When you open up the disaster right here, we wanted to, huh? we wanted to get, hold on. We wanted to um, hide all that stuff. And so it's top to bottom. We have eight foot ceiling, okay? So we wanted to hide all this gunk of organizers, baskets, laundry clothes. So, so what I got instead here is um, with my creative idea, I went to the fabric store and got like a, like a satin, like a light baby blue silver satin material. It's kind of like one of those bridesmaids dress material. And I saw near it was um, like a sheer chiffon fabric. See, my hand's right behind it. A very sheer fa chiffon fabric. And what was so cool about it, it comes with like 
sparkles. Beautiful shiny sparkles like little diamonds. It's so cool. I thought it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So they sparkle like diamonds. So it looks like you're in a blue sky. And I gave Freddie, I had cut off a little small piece of this fabric for Freddie. And I told him, you better take this because that's the only way you'll match as close as possible to the, to the wall paint. So then we got the wall paint that we got, which matches pretty close. So let me come back further and Show you'll see. How it looks without the curtains. Yeah. And there's um, three sets of five feet of curtains going across, connected all together. So it's about 15 feet wide going across and based on a, um eight foot ceiling. So this is like having a nice, beautiful wall where a beautiful curtain replaces a dry wall. All right, this is how the disaster looked before. There's the bedroom door and this that's our organizer. There's our black refrigerator on top of a dresser. And we just have like so many things and extra food items, juice, paper towels, and our belongings, dresser. There's the air conditioner there installed there against the blue wall. And that's how it looks, guys. I pushed, I had pushed over the curtains to each end of the five foot rods. And we just connected all the way across. So that's how it looks, okay? And there's Freddie's toes. <laughs> And this is our bedroom closet, which is not very big. It may be big, but not for a family of four kids. So there's our closet. And there's our um, other IKEA cabinets that we got. So, and there's us again. Once again, as you saw, the nightmare of the chaos that drove me nuts. Now here, again, are the beautiful, is the beautiful curtain. And you can see the beautiful sparkles. 15 feet wide curtain of my creative idea and then once again here goes that beautiful you can pick whatever fabric you want you see I designed my own curtain it's almost like you will never find this design already made curtains so with my idea I love satin it's very nice and shiny material and I decided to put like a chiffon see-through clear fabric over and this is so beautiful you guys if you really want to know where I got it, I got it at the um, Han Hancock Fabrics, H-A-N-C-O-C-K, Hancock Fabrics. Um, the one I went to was in Chicago on North Broadway. So they do have online store too, but if you go to your nearby neighborhood fabric store, you can find tons of different cool stuff. You know, you can check online too, but it's best to be at the fabric store so you get to see the texture and feel it and, and actually see what you like and all the Tons of beautiful colors and everything, so it's a lot of fun at the fabric store. Okay, um, Freddie had installed um, a three bulb lighting, and this is at and it's actually a dimmer that Freddie had installed. So with the dimmer, this is at the full blast power of three bulbs, one each aiming at each of the five foot um, rod with the curtains on it. So this is how bright it can be in this room. It looks so cool. It looks almost like a a stage for performance. So yeah, so here's Freddie and his input. All right. All right, so this is Feng Shui and something I learned from Feng Shui and a little bit of Zen is basically simplicity and putting, like noticing that the energies that you get around you have like a big influence on your your inner feelings and, and your happiness and just um, your positive feelings. So what, what Feng Shui is, is like colors, you know, everybody has like certain colors that give them more energy and certain colors that take away energy. And not just about the colors, but also about clutter. Like, it correlates with the way that your mind is. If your mind is full of clutter, full of thoughts, the ego thinking about the past, thinking about the future, you will not find you will not find happiness. You will not be in peace. Your your whole mind will be in turmoil. And when you when you look at the 